we didn't have to. Wait. No, 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 wait. I want to try something. I want to try something. First things first. I kind of... I kind of want to see if we can do this fight without bugging it out. And then I want to hit Oda in the face with a penis. That's what we're going to do. That's what's going to happen. Uh, he's going to get a dick in the face. The, sh the shame would kill him. Exactly. With a penis? Yeah, with a penis. I'll show you. Oh shit. I'll, I'll show you, Lola. You see, we, we have a weapon, you see. Our secret weapon, if you will, Lola. You see this weapon right here? This is the weapon we use to to uh, non-lethally take people down. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch I'm gonna punch Oda in the face with a dick. Like in, in my defense though, first time. Okay, fine! It's dick time! Where you at? Hope you're ready for a good dickin! They call me Charles Dickens! What is your status? I... <laughs> well, he's alive, but, um... <laughs> is not happy about it. <laughs> I managed to. Oh. Is he dead? Sir John. He's breathing. You can't go wrong with Sir John. Okay, what we got here? Seen 12 year old handle seeing a dildo better. Viceroy, listen. It's hilarious, okay? And the only reason why you don't think it's hilarious is because you haven't seen how he equips it. Back in the cyberpunk, you have to get that bad boy. Seems only right. Do it, Eddie. And do do a full do a full Dildonium pay playthrough. Listen, Viceroy. Viceroy. I will now quote the great Norwegian philosopher Arne Ness. Uh, he was an existentialist, and uh, he coined the term possibilism, that anything is possible, uh, however unlikely. And Brodama, thank you so much for that follow. You're wonderful, and welcome to the Holst Mortar. This m amazing contemporary thinker of our time coined the phrase, you are not truly grown up until you dare to be childish. Now... I, for one, dare to be childish. And having a and having a Shakespearean pun-based dildo in a cyberpunk game is an excellent opportunity to be incredibly childish. So I will. So I will. Because I'm, I'm an adult, damn it. <laughs> Grab that opportunity with both. Eddie, get out. <laughs> three. One, two, five. Three, sir. A three. Oh, God! Well, don't read chat and drive motorcycles. Listen. If anything, Sir John is the proof as to why you need to keep your, uh, your armory well oiled. What the? Huh? What? Game! Game. Was that the bike being angry with my driving? I feel like that was the bike being angry with my driving. That that was the yeah. You know what? That was my bike being like, you know what? You want to kill yourself? I'll help you along. <laughs> The scientific community will suffer once I have access to a particle collider. I'll make Dildonium a real element. Yes! Yes! 
<laughs> Dude, Captain Buttcrack, if you become a world-renowned scientist and you win the Nobel Peace Prize for... Captain Buttcrack. If you discover a new element and you win a Nobel Prize in science or whatever it is that you can win a Nobel Peace Prize f uh, no, not a Nobel Peace Prize, but win a Nobel Prize uh, for discovering whatever element you end up discovering, please call it Dildonium. Just please call it Dildonium as the mo- that's, that's like the most epic levels of troll in history. Because it'll be on every single periodic table in every single school <laughs> for eternity. Oh. <laughs> you just came into the best stream we've had all freaking year. That includes a 12 hour stream for charity. Historians will have a very confusing thing to talk about. A dildo made out of an enormous amount of the very heavy radioactive new found element called Dildonium. <laughs> Listen, do you know how many people would pray at the altar of Dildonium, Captain Buttcrack? It would, it would be a huge tourist attraction. You, you just, you, you, you make sure that it's inside, you know, some sort of, you know, thing that would allow us to look at it, gaze upon its magnificence. But, you know, without getting, uh, you know, uh, radiation, uh, you know, contaminated or whatever you call it. People would travel all from all over the world to pray at the altar of the mega dick. <laughs> Talk about weaponizing dildo. Uh, dildonium or dildonite? <gasps> The second, the second element. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <laughs> Dildo a Dildonium and Dildonite Amalgam. <laughs> Amalgam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you guys aware? That we are basically making extremely highbrow dick jokes. And I'm here for it. I am I am so here for it. I demand to be high priestess of the Dilda Knights. <laughs> because seriously. We are doing so well. We are doing so well. We're talking about periodic tables and basic elements and radioactive material. But it's all dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's scientific too, indeed. There's an order of dildo knights. That no, Prashemko. There is more. There's there's always more dildonium tactical. <laughs> what the hell killed this guy? Well, he seems to have been shot by a high caliber dildonium round. <laughs> no, yes, tactical. Diltonium's periodic table code is PP. <laughs> and that's that's the end. We we can't it We peaked. We 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 are people of science here, Fanrak. We are people of science. You're people of science, there's dildonium all the way down. It's it's an element, you see. It is it is one of the base one of the base elements, and uh, I I will I will not suffer such slander of uh, the most noble of materials. It's it's one of the building blocks of the universe for crying out loud. It is not dildos all the way down, good sir. That is coarse. That is childish. That is rude, crass, and immature. It's dildonium all the way down, my my dear boy. My dear, dear boy, it's nothing but dildonium. But today, we all became dildonites. <laughs> and do you know where the research base of the dildonites are, you guys? Are you aware of the location of the research base of the dildonites? It is obviously situated on Uranus.
No, 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 you're all wrong. It's on Uranus. For material safety. <laughs> Dildonium has the biggest bus around it you've ever heard. <laughs> oh. Dildonite is a raw form of it. Dildonium is an alloy of dildonite and titanium. Metals that can withstand lots of friction and heat. And impacts. Well played, Tactical. You're in good form today. <laughs> so instead of raining diamonds on Uranus, it's dildonium. Listen. Scientists thought it was diamonds that rained down on Uranus. But after the dildonites made their way over there to establish the research station, we were thrilled to find out that it's not diamonds that raining down on Uranus, but it is a fact, in fact, a much harder material, much stronger, girthy, <laughs> and more veiny material. And that was, of course, dildonium. <laughs> you only heard dildonium, you're very intrigued. Listen. <laughs> Did you know they called the original name for Jedi was Foreskin? <laughs> I didn't get that before I said it! Oh my god, Zeeps, that's so good! <laughs> Vibrational dild dildonium? Listen, uh, dildonium is a naturally vibrate, like, dildonium as a base material uh, is actually incredibly vibrational. It is constantly moving, uh, which is why you can only, you can only transport dildonium in fuck it i'm gonna say it. you can only transport dildonium in custom-made sheaths that are built to withstand insane amounts of friction <laughs> what would happen if you rub two dildoniums together uh the christian community would be really really angry or the conservative christian community would be really really angry about it This is, gonna, this is gonna be such a long highlight. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know what? No, we're we're in a very serious, we're in a very serious cutscene. Making dildonium soda cans is a bad idea. Dude, my man, Raven, you, you don't wanna make the last thing you wanna do is make dildonium soda cans because they will burst and and they will squirt their contents all over the place. It'll be incredibly messy and hard to clean up. You you don't you don't want to make soda cans out of dildonium. That's that's just a mess. That's just a mess waiting to happen. Oh, you're on a work computer and you got me and my co-workers laughing your ass off. Hey, Tacticals co-workers, follow Subtequas. Come on, guys. Uh, they will burst and offend the nuns, indeed. I'm glad I came up with the dildonium joke. Listen, Prashemko, it has, it has layers now. <laughs> the one-two punch of the element, the burst and the squirt, yes. You tried to make a, dildo a dildonium joke, Mr. Psychic, but it finished too quickly. Ah! Well, you know, that that is an important thing to consider for dildonium. Like Captain Buttcrack said, dildonium is a radioactive material, but its half its half life is surprisingly short. It is shorter than we would like, but it is also you know it also lasts just just as long as you need it to if you apply it correctly. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this, Deadpan. It doesn't happen. And then, of course, somebody called Yes Poppy joins. You are wonderful, my friends. And the excessive use of dildonium can leave you with a burning sensation only if you do it unprotected, Zeeps. <clears throat> That's where you're wrong. Dildonium is the only element that will make you be finished before it does. I, it is, it is highly radioactive. Uh, push it too far. It can't take anymore. I need a, I need a, I need a cigarette and a, <laughs> I need a cigarette and a Red Bull. We didn't 
we didn't pull it far enough steel zipper you want to you want to pull you want to pull dildonium even further you want to push or pull the dild dildonium by the way dildonium must always be handled with both hands this this is essential that's that's just good lab safe mm. uh the raging dildo listen there's a very serious cutscene going on we're we're Watch the cutscene. Gotta stop the process before it's too late. I know you got the means to help me. Is Sir John a knife? Is that Sir John? <laughs> this this is Sir John. This is Sir John Falliston. <laughs> we we found him, and we adopted him, and we have made him strong and hard. He's non-lethal. He, he is non-lethal, and it may not be lethal, but my, our enemies will sure wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> right that's funny the only problem is the wait only... what was the damage uh it has 436 uh non-lethal blunt damage uh, it does physical damage electrical damage um the only problem with it is that it has 15 percent bleeding chance and 15 percent shock chance I didn't read crit damage. <laughs> you didn't read crit damage. No. You read the other thing. That dildonium. This is the this weapon is made of pure dildonium. <laughs> you have. I also listen, it's a non-lethal weapon. I use it for when you need to pacify. Criminal. Stop doing that. <laughs> Please stop doing that. <laughs> when I need to pacify people without killing them. It is it is a humane, kind and considerate <laughs> weapon. It's it's gentle, yet firm. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That wasn't humane. 